Hello, everybody. Me and my uh, my friend Chris. So shit. Yeah. You guys have never met him. This is my best friend Chris. We've been friends since we were like 13, 14, something like that. We're on the way to Nashville now. He's going to try out for a band. I'm gonna roam around and vlog and shit. And we got five hours and 14 minutes to go. So yeah, come along with us on this fantastic voyage. It's the, the latest in hobo fashion. All right, we're in uh, Asheville, North Carolina now. We've made it like an hour and a half or something. We have four hours and nine minutes left till we get to you're Nashville. Right? Yeah. You know you have a good best friend whenever you're fighting a terminal lung illness and they're just over there smoking cigarettes. <laughs> look how far away I am. Just look at him. How does it feel, Chris? I'm over here struggling to breathe every day of my life and you're just over there. <laughs> Just trying to make our lung functions match. <laughs> These people don't know there's a flood coming. That's why I got my uh, my life jacket on. <laughs> I'll be ready. They said it's rain today. All right. It does just look like a giant child's life jacket. Yeah. I went to Walmart. See, you're just you're proving the ground that you can be adventurous. Exactly. And still do your shit. See, there's no excuse why people can't do their treatments and still travel. Mm -mm. Although. I did just pay two dollars and thirty cents for some the tiniest bottle of hand sanitizer in the world. Yeah, God damn. The price of having to be germ conscious. All right, we're somewhere. In Tennessee right now. We're like three hours outside of Nashville. I already knocked out all my morning treatments on the road. About to take all my pills. So all you CFers who are like, oh my god, I can't travel because of my medicine. I don't have my equipment. You know what that is? Excuses. Do you know who wants to hear excuses? Nobody. I know what you're gonna say in response to that. Oh well Morgan, not all of us have portable devices like you. You're right. Guess what? The battery for my nebulizer quit working, the portable one, so I have to plug it in. Look at this cool little invention. It's like $25 off Amazon, and boom, you have outlets in the car. Super simple. So, efforts who make all these excuses of why they can't do their treatments when they travel and skip, that's exactly what it is. Excuses. You just do it. Knock it out. Best gift ever. You bring me like music. You know, you you brought me uh, you bought me the Suicide Silence CD. Which one? The Black Crown. Yeah, you brought me that. Special edition. And then like four porn DVDs. Oh. <laughs> it's like ew, my hospital stay is really good. Oh, yeah. And dude, that one you got me was so weird because it would go from like a normal scene and then it got to this one where this chick is laying on this table and then a bunch of dudes come in with food and they start like dumping it on her. Oh. Not even appetizing food. They're like throwing drumsticks at her and stuff. And I'm like, what did Chris buy me? Like, dude, no, <laughs> I'll tell you what happened is I went into fucking Adam and Eve and fuck, I'd never been in a porn store before. But dude, she kept following me around. I told her what I was here to do. I was like, yeah, my friend's in a hospital. Like they keep blocking his access to porn sites. So I'm here to get him. <laughs> And uh, oh god, and like she just kept following me around. She was like, So, what is he into? I was like, I don't know, like women getting, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. And uh, so finally, I just found this, he's in the beat, yeah. So, I finally just found this section that was like three for 40, uh, three DVDs for 40 bucks. And I was just like, Fuck, I'm just gonna grab three of these. I don't I'll know, probably 40 dollars worth of poor, dude. Yeah, and that, that black crown CD was like. 25 or 30 because it was a special edition with that goddamn DVD. I dropped like 80 or 90 dollars on all that shit. That's that was awesome. that was the first Christmas present I ever bought anybody. That's why we're best friends. Oh yeah, because I was in. That's why I was. That's in the hospital at Christmas. Yeah. We have arrived in the land of country music. Finally. <laughs> all right. Well, I need to be taking a ride. <laughs> Someone doesn't know the rules. Jason Aldean's Kitchen and Rooftop Bar. Public parking. Let's see if it's full. Pay $25 to park? No. 
Yeah, I'm good. Hours. You're a touring musician. Why don't we have friends that we can just be like, hey, bro, can we like pull behind you? What is? I got it. So tiny. Oh, let's just drive on cobblestone. Hey. Ye old Nashville. <laughs> Should I go straight or right? Mm. Tell me now. Tell me now. I don't know. God damn it, Morgan. <laughs> you are no hell. All right, we're here. We parked at a random apartment complex, and hopefully we don't get towed. But welcome to Nashville. You're just killing your lungs over there? Yeah. Okay. Keeping the distance. Just make sure. Still good. Creepy. Creepy bridge. All right, it's super creepy. That's where I'm going to be living eventually. Kid Rock's Honky Tonk. Oh, shit. You can go in there and ball with the ball. Smells like drunk white people. 100% the captain. Hi. Hi. Do you have a man better? How nice are you doing? <laughs> said, how are you? What are I am you doing, doing well. Go, can you hold it? Hello. No, you can't hold okay, that. It's me. <laughs> I'm a YouTube. Gonna, I'm a YouTube can, guy. Are you? Can, I am. Can you send me the link? Oh uh, yeah. Woo! For sure. I Is the sound like I got one. I need two. What's up? Cool? <laughs> oh, don't run into right. a wall. No, okay. no, no, no wall. <laughs> Funny thing about that is I was just saying like Nashville has to be the capital of like drunk white girls. And then a drunk <laughs> and then a drunk white girl comes and grabs my camera just like hey. Well, welcome to the vlog. Good time so far in Nashville. She's hammered at what hold on, what time is it? 3.39 and that girl is wasted. <laughs> Hi. Are, are all the trunk white girls so friendly around here? Chris has gone to head to his auditions for his band. So I'm about to head back and explore downtown Nashville solo. I know one thing, the sun is out now. It feels glorious. I actually have on too many layers right now, but I brought an extra layer just in case it gets cold later. But right now, it's amazing. But the thing about Nashville is the housing market is so high, so you get Punk rock show now. So we do. Come to me though. Five and punk shows. Yeah. It's a badass view right here. Came to Nashville, Chris got the gig, just went and watched this band play, which you probably guys probably kind of saw a little bit of, They're punk rock, if you don't like punk rock, you probably didn't like it. Right now, it is 12.50 a.m. We are going to head back in the morning. Uh, the place that we're sleeping in this person's driveway tonight. It's like a this it's like a house party. It's like a venue slash someone's house, but they said that we can totally sleep in the driveway. So I don't know where Chris is doing. He's somewhere around here, but I'm about to crash in the car. I met a really awesome person, Elizabeth, and she gave me a blanket to have tonight. 
Elizabeth, if you're watching this, thank you for the blanket. I'm totally gonna bring it back to you. It's even my favorite type of like grandma blanket, which makes it even better. The trip to Nashville has been epic. Nashville is amazing. Totally gonna come back. Love it over here. So yeah, I'm about to uh, do all my breathing treatments in the car and then I'm going to pass out until like 7 a.m. and then we're gonna drive home. So yeah, that's been the Nashville, the Nashville episode of the vlog. Fun times. Uh, like always, thank you guys for tagging along with me. Uh, be sure to follow me on social media. All my links are down here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications from me and miss any content that I post. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm about to do my treatments and then I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna pass out to the morning whenever we have to go home and make the, uh, the six hour trek home, which is not going to be fun. But for now, doing treatments, I'm going to sleep. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Morgan.